Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is kind of going to be a different video today. I'm not really doing anything with makeup. I have a few puffer jackets that I want to show you guys. So a little bit of fashion, but I really wanted to create a centerpiece uh, moss bowl. I first saw it in Khloe Kardashian's house a few years back and now they're popping up more and more. I've been wanting to make one. Uh, since summertime and now that it is close to Christmas why not now uh, it doesn't look like Christmas decor but I just thought I wanted to change up some decor as I'm gonna start to do Christmas decorations soon um, try to put in some of that my videos are kind of gonna be all over the place I'll probably have this out before videos that I've put up or I made last month just to get out some more Christmassy content because we're gonna go to the dollar store and look through their Christmas decor. I've got some things I wasn't expecting to. I do want to go to Michael's one day next week and shop around for a couple more pieces and I'll vlog that with you guys because it's always fun during Christmas time to see what the stores have. It's Black Friday today and I am not going to go out and fight the crowds. I'll just do the online shopping. I've already gotten some good sales, so I don't think I'm going to go out shopping today, especially because it'll be afternoon if I do get to go, so I don't want to do that. Anyways, if you want to see how I created this really affordable, really beautiful, uh, chic centerpiece moss bowl, then just keep watching. All right, I'll show you what I picked up from Dollarama. So I wasn't really gonna get any like Christmas decor, but they had some cute things. Um, so I picked out a few. I wanna go to Michael's and get a few more things just to add. I think we're gonna put our tree up this weekend. So I found some crazy carpets there for $4 and my youngest has been saying he wants to go sledding this year and we don't have any sleds so why not get these these are the funnest so I got two just in case the other boys want to try it out it has moss all over it I picked up those throw them on the ground there's a pencil these are some really nice candles from local shops in my town so wax candle is amazing coffee vanilla I got this one at a craft is was it a craft day I don't know um L Air candle company it smells delicious and then this one is I don't know which one this is I got it last year but these all smell so so good 
if they have websites I'll link them there's just something different about handmade candles they don't have that like synthetic smell so yeah these will be gone and I will put the moss bowl here in place. We had a little leak in the bag. That's why there's moss everywhere. This one was partly open, but they have, I guess, all different kinds of mosses to use. I don't know which, I got Spanish moss. So I think this will be really, really pretty. By the way, this table's like 120 years old. It's been passed down from my mom to me. That's why it's so distressed, but I don't care. I like the distressing on it. So if you're wondering why this looks like this table's 100 years old, it's because it is. I picked up this little tree for $1.50. I thought it was really cute. Looks like icicles on a tree. There was only two, so I only got one because it just looks more aesthetically pleasing to have odd numbers so I just picked up one of these. More moss to fill the bowl and I picked out this bowl. I was gonna go with white but the white bowls were too deep. I might get another a bigger bowl after if I like the way this looks but I thought gold would be good for Christmas time. And then I picked out this Santa sign, a countdown to Christmas. Thought it was cute. And then this sign was really pretty, actually. It says Noel, and I'm gonna hang it above my fireplace. I wanted to put a wreath there, not above my fireplace, on my fireplace. Um, but I thought this was really pretty, and it looks really well made, actually, for $4. Right on my fireplace. So I just put a little bit of the newspaper. I taped the bottom to keep it crunched up like that just to have the moss come above the bowl instead of filling the whole bowl completely with moss. Um, just work around it like that. I don't know if there's like any, like if you have to take care of the moss or spray it. I think it's preserved so it's fine. Uh, this says that it's long lasting vivid color so I'm sure this should last me a while until I probably want to change up the bowl. Alright I took out the newspaper. There was more than enough moss in this first bowl. This one isn't as vivid so I just wanted to use it as the fill and then kind of place the bright moss over top. So I just kind of took the sheet and separated it into pieces and then started like molding it around the moss at the bottom. So you can see that there's dark pieces at the bottom like where it's, it grew from in the ground. I'm just trying to kind of push it back together. Like I don't mind a little bit of it, but I'm just trying to like not have it seamless, but a, like not all over the place let's just say but so far I am loving the way it looks definitely want to do a bigger one uh, maybe Dollarama or I can even look at Michaels we'll get different kinds of moss and like you could add in different breeds of it throughout I think that would be pretty too so I kind of pulled up some of the other colored moss up in between just to give it some depth and dimension and I absolutely love the way it turned out I think it looks so chic and pretty thank you Khloe Kardashian for the idea that's where I originally saw it but they're starting to pop up everywhere now um, so Connor McDavid actually had one in his house in a black bowl that looked really nice I would like to get a white bowl but I think for the holiday season I think it looks really pretty with the gold and they're actually really nice on coffee tables I just don't have a coffee table so thought I'd put it on my dining room table could be bigger like on camera it looks like it could be bigger it fits the table nicely in person but definitely could go bigger with it 
All right, so I had to go get my son for lunch and brought him back to school. So now I'm just gonna show you guys the jackets, the puffer jackets that I picked up. Uh, the first one I got, I got at Winners. Um, no, Marshalls. Did I get at Marshalls? Yeah, I got it at Marshalls. So I had seen it there a couple weeks ago and thought it was really cute. It's in this like nice slate gray color, just like has a matte finish to it. It's really, really thick and warm and puffy. Um, it's by the brand Project Raw, Project Raw. I'll link it if I can find it. And it was $50 and then I went back next week and it was on sale for $30 so I was like $20 off I have to buy this I live in a climate that is cold probably six to eight months of the year and like frigid cold temperatures and I'm always in the hockey arenas with my boys watching them play so I need a lot of warm coats so this felt oops, super duper warm um it's a little oversized like like bulky oversized but I feel like that is the vibe right now you're seeing a lot of really oversized um wool coats the blazers puffer jackets it feels very Kardashian-esque to me um it has the nice lined pockets with fleece so your hands are super warm so I'll try that on for you guys as well as I picked up this jacket uh, from Ardeen's. I was going in for a different coat but me and my bestie were shopping and she kind of pulled me into this direction so it's just another super cute cropped puffer jacket. I got it in like this deep berry burgundy wine color. It has nice sleeves right here. This is like a nice fleecy t-shirt material with the puffers. It's like if you don't have something around your wrists, it doesn't keep you warm. I feel like if it's just this style, wind and snow and everything gets up in there. So it has these nice sleeves it has a hood it's not detachable drawstrings at the bottom so you can make it tighter to make it more cropped and it also has fleece line pockets so I will try these coats on for you guys and see how they look all right this is the first coat you can see that it's super super puffy super oversized but it's really, really warm, and I think I found out why it's $30. There's, like, part of the neck is, like, coming undone at the seams, so I'll just have to sew that. No big deal. But that might have been why it was on sale for $30, but I think it's so cute. Even as oversized as it is, it's super-duper warm, so probably wear it with jeans or sweats, leggings for sure. All right, this is the coat from Ardeen's. It has a nice, not really a high collar, but a little bit of a higher collar, a little cute hood. Like I said, I love the sleeves, just if you don't have your mitts for some reason. Keep your hands warm. It's coming up more of like a brown on camera, but it's got more of like a purple undertone to it, so yeah super warm i've been wearing it for a couple minutes and i'm sweating now so i definitely want to get this off and yeah thank you guys for watching i hope you guys enjoyed the little diy make your own moss bowl part and a little bit of christmas thrown into there hopefully i'll get to some more christmas content um yeah Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys again soon.